you talked about looking for deeper truths. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have any more understanding of DuPont now? Because I came, I came away from this movie with as many questions about him mm -hmm. as when I came, as when the movie started. Yeah. Well, when I say truth, I, I think that the making of this film uh, taught me a great deal and that personally I'm drawn in. Within the story are characters who are obedient to the impulses of wealth and class and power and patriotism and exceptionalism and family and you know nobody expected DuPont to murder anybody and I was attracted to the idea of casting somebody uh, who would surprise us in that way too because this is not the sort of behavior you would ultimately expect from Steve Carell. When I first met Steve to talk about the role and the film, uh, he said that he had only ever played characters with mushy centers and that DuPont seemed to have a mushy center, but he didn't. I understand that he was in makeup early before the rest of the Yeah. Story, in the crew came and the cast, and also was the last one to leave. Yeah. And so he was in makeup most of the day. Few of us ever saw him out of makeup for the run of the show. Because as you said, he was the first to arrive and the last to leave. And um, because the makeup was so good, he was naturally a repellent presence on set. He kept to himself and people kept from him. And I think it served him and the film well. The scene where Dave and, and DuPont are, are speaking together and Mark is kind of lurking, right. lurking around, coming in and out of frame, yeah. out of focus. Yeah. But you know he's there. It's very powerful. Yeah, it's one of my favorite scenes, actually. Um, because like what we were saying, it's all beneath the surface. Uh, for those guys, because wrestling is such a hard sport, I mean, it's like the hardest sport of them all, I am told. And uh, Channing himself has no doubt about it that he's convinced that this is the hardest sport with with the least amount of reward, extrinsic reward, like fame or fortune. There's none of that. Um, but from my perspective, shooting it um, has its challenges because um, there's a lot of bad angles in wrestling. You know, it just seems... <laughs> It just seems that like it's impossible for like five seconds to go by without things ending up at a bad angle. <laughs>